Our exploratory journey to Alaska begins in early autumn. Alaska is one of the world's last great frontiers, with stunning scenery from mountain vistas to coastal fjords. Towns like Seward provide a gateway to this rich Pacific coastline. Sea otters are now a common sight. Larger animals also take advantage of the rich food supply. This area is renowned for its vast, constantly moving glaciers. The scenic Kenai Peninsula enjoys vast runs of salmon in the summertime. Five different species of Pacific salmon migrate up the many rivers and streams to spawn. Brightly coloured sockeye salmon are hard to miss, turning from bright silver to vivid red as they reach fresh water. Resident trout take advantage of this spawning cycle and feed on the salmon eggs. Big rainbow trout dart amongst the salmon and in autumn it is the trout the fly angler's target. All Pacific salmon end their three to four year life cycle by spawning and then dying. Their rotting carcasses enrich the water system for future generations. National parks cover over 54 million acres of Alaska. With such a huge wilderness area, motorhomes are a popular choice for many seeking to explore and enjoy this scenic state. A flyout by private plane opens up a whole new world of pristine wilderness. Lake Clark is a prime example. No airports here. The landing strip is a sandy beach at low tide. This exceptional accommodation provides a high level of comfort with well-furnished cabins close to the main lodge, all surrounded by a unique wilderness setting. Guests come to fly fish for salmon. However, the main attraction is the mighty brown bear, also known as the grizzly. With an abundant food supply, these brown bears are more tolerant of humans than the inland species. Expert guides get you up close and personal to these hugely powerful creatures. There are protocols to ensure your safety and that of the bears. This is definitely the domain of the grizzly and we are mere guests. There is no shortage of food Big runs of salmon in summer supplement the bear's diet of vegetation. It is the females and cubs that feed close to the coastal creeks and shoreline, awaiting the arrival of salmon shoals as they migrate up the streams and rivers on an incoming tide.
Grizzlies expend a lot of energy chasing after migrating salmon, and not all bears enjoy the same level of success. Salmon numbers also vary from one tide to the next. Low tide also provides the bears with another valuable food source, clams. Large clams provide important nutrients and are a delicacy for these awesome animals. Powerful muscles and forearms and large claws help a brown bear make short work of digging down in the firm sand. These bears have also mastered the technique of splitting the clam shell by pressure rubbing the clam against the packed sand to reveal with ease the inner contents. Cubs quickly learn the fine art of clamming too. Bear cubs have to learn fast. They need to pack on weight during the summer months in order to survive the winter hibernation period. Cubs then have to leave their mother's protection at around three years of age. Then they have to fend completely for themselves. Females with two cubs have a much tougher time, having not one but two mouths to feed in addition to themselves. They expend more energy and have to work much harder. They fully understand that they have to gain weight in summer in order to survive the winter. A single cub has a much better chance of survival. Life for these beautiful creatures primarily revolves around conserving energy in between bursts of feeding activity. These huge, powerful bears certainly provide awesome viewing in totally natural surroundings.